Brought to you by Pediatric Dental Group of Colorado, creating positive and rewarding dental visits for kids of all ages since 1977. If you're tired of the same old news, what more do you want? I want the truth. You're hearing it. Strap yourselves in, folks. Never fear. What's the dealio? Part of life is learning to let things go. We've got news moms can use. What was that name again? I missed that. News moms can use. That is correct. This is News Moms Can Use, and we pick our news and the latest stories that we want to share with you based on what we think moms want or need to hear, which we're pretty sure most other news entities do not do. As I'm fond of saying, they try to sell you the soap and the commercials, but they don't really care what they tell you in the news, whether or not that helps your lives or not. So we pick our stories based on what we think moms need. All righty. If you don't like people all up in your business, if you know what I mean, this story may blow your mind. Target the store knew about a teenage girl's pregnancy before her family knew about it. How could that happen, Shaw? She registered for baby gifts? Well, you're close. According to a story in Forbes magazine, very interesting, by the way, an analyst employed by Target came up with a system for analyzing customer data. That data shows what different gender groups tend to purchase at certain times in their lives. And one of the things they kept track of, you are right, is the baby registries. Well, based on that data, the Target analyst came up with a very effective method for determining if a customer is expecting a baby. And even better, once Target determines that you're probably pregnant, they mail you little coupons to help you purchase Target products that might assist you in your pregnancy. Well, that little system caused a big stir for our one Minnesota family when a teenage girl received coupons for baby-related items in the mail. After her dad opened the mailing that contained said coupons, the store received a little visit from an angry father who confronted the store manager saying, quote, my daughter got this in the mail. She's still in high school and you're sending her coupons for baby clothes and cribs. Are you trying to encourage her to get pregnant? This is, again is according to Forbes. Well, apparently the manager did not have an idea, any idea at all what the dad was talking about. But the manager apologized and then called a few days later to apologize again. Good target manager there. On the phone, though, the father had a surprising response when he called. The father admitted to the manager that he had a talk with his daughter and that apparently there had been some activities going on in his house that he was unaware of. <laughs> he admitted his teenage daughter was due in August and apologized to the target manager. Okay. I guess target is on the ball about our personal lives. Do we, do we need them to be that on the ball? I don't know, Shell. Not if you're that teenage girl. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they basically alerted the family to her pregnancy. Target, the retail chain. Hello. Let's just, yeah, just amazing to me. By the way, unscented lotion and cotton balls are some of the things they use to track pregnant women. They're big purchases of unscented lotion and cotton balls. I don't think I bought oh. either thing. Well, this, scent, I, I this scent can pregnant. make you nauseous. That's probably oh. it. Oh, yeah. I, didn't I don't have know that what problem. the cotton ball thing is. I didn't have that problem. But yes, you had the nausea thing, so you would know that. Okay, would you like to know which jobs are worst for your health or the health of your mate? Yes. Okay. I would like to. Good answer, Shelly. Well, being a mother was not on the list, thank God. <laughs> but according to a recent study from the University of Southern California, Wall Street is not all it is cracked up to be, at least when it comes to a healthy working environment. Young investment bankers tend to work 80 to 120 hours a week, which of course mothers do too, and that's bad for their health increasing their risk of alcoholism, arthritis, and Crohn's disease. So investment banking topped the list of seven kinds of jobs that have been linked to physical and mental health issues. They were, they were number one on that list. Also on the list, number two, standing up jobs. Jobs where you have to stand up all day. So I guess maybe factory work, things like that, you know, assembly line. There's an arthritis risk there. Soldiers, job with the highest stress. In the line of fire. Yep. Tends to be bad for your health. Yeah. And get this, dancers. Dancers, number four. And I don't know if they're talking about dancers that are taking things off or just ballet ballerinas or what, but apparently they have the highest rate of divorce, dancers do, of wow. any career. I know. Maybe. So that makes demanding. me think that maybe dancers that are taking clothes off or something. No. I could see. Well, maybe they're, maybe they're dancing with other partners and there's an issue there. Oh, maybe. Like the Dancing with the Star stuff, yeah. All right. <laughs> number five, construction workers. Lung problems, apparently. Number six, personal caregivers. They may have the highest depression rate. That's so sad because they're giving up themselves and that's, that, you know, it's a difficult job. Number seven, shift workers. And I guess it's because they Working work on night. hours oh, and yeah. they don't get enough sleep. Nurses and, oh gosh. Hard. Truck drivers. Yeah. They don't get enough sleep. Alrighty. By the way, a separate study suggests having a poorly paid and poorly supported job is just as bad as having no job at all. 
<laughs> By the way, at WebMD does recommend that whatever job you have, you set aside free time in your week to spend with loved ones and to exercise, which Julie will back up. And finally, the story I never want to tell, but I believe I must tell because it's a problem in our society that needs fixing. Last week, news of a mother killing her one-year-old, and now this week, a stepmom and grandma accused of killing a nine-year-old girl. Authorities say nine-year-old Savannah Harden died after being forced to run for three hours as punishment for lying to her grandmother about eating candy bars. Severely dehydrated, the girl had a seizure and died days later. Now her grandmother and stepmother face murder charges. Witnesses told deputies that young Savannah was told to run and was not allowed to stop for three hours last Friday, according to the Etowah County Sheriff's Office in Alabama. The girl's stepmother, 27-year-old Jessica May Harden, called police that evening, telling them that Savannah was having a seizure and was unresponsive. Deputies were told the girl was made to run after lying to her grandmother, 46-year-old Joyce Harden Gerard, about having eaten the candy. May God help us all. That just, yeah, we need we need to help. We need to help the mothers too, frankly. But but it just what a sad situation.